another piece. You know, we're really lucky that we are still at the time of year where we get to enjoy a lot of fresh herbs. You, as you can see, we're very good at growing basil. It's sweet and lovely. Beautiful. It's so sweet and lovely and goes well with so many different things. And I love it in this particular dish because it's a tiny bit unexpected, like lemon and basil for me anyway. I'm not, I don't have any lemon trees, at least not right now, but I'm very inspired by the Amalfi Coast, which we were just at not too long ago. And hopefully next year we'll get some beautiful lemon trees with our very own lemons growing in our backyard. But for now, farmer's market lemons will do. Hi guys, I'm Laura Batali. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to share with you a really easy, simple, but delicious idea. Um, it was actually inspired by my latest trip to Ocean City. Um, we live about an hour from Ocean City and we stayed for about a week with friends, uh, with family down the shore. And if you've been to the boardwalk in Ocean City, you know you've got pizza, you've got funnel cake, you've got all of the goodies that, you know, the boardwalk has to offer. But there's a little hidden spot, it's a little restaurant kind of like hidden away. Uh, it's like a Hawaiian themed restaurant and they make a delicious fish with like a lemon basil sauce and they serve it with rice and it's delicious. And I had that for one of the nights because even I need a pizza break, you know what I'm saying? And it was so delicious. I've had it before a couple years ago and it just inspired me to make my version at home and I love it and Joe loves it. The sauce is so simple and I'm gonna share it with you. I'm using cod. These are two beautiful cod fillets. Um, they use tuna. But I'm using cod, you can use tuna, cod, you can do this with chicken, you can do this with whatever you've got. And then in here, I've got a clove of garlic, a little bit of butter, some lemon, some water, some white wine, and some flour. Oh, I need my salt. Hold on. I got it. Okay, I got some rice cooking. They cook their rice until it's really super soft and like sticky, so that's what I'm doing. I've got a little bit of light olive oil in a skillet. And I'm gonna do is I'm going to season both sides of my fish with some water, some water, with some salt. I'm hungry, okay? This is when you know Laura is hungry. And I am just going to dredge this lightly in some flour. I'm gonna add it to my hot oil and I'm just gonna cook this for about a minute or two on each side just until it creates a lovely crust. Ow! A splashy splash, but it's okay. It's gonna create a beautiful crust and I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. Just make sure you shake off any excess flour and then it will be perfect when it's done. Look how gorgeous, right? Since I'm only making enough for two, I'm gonna just set these right here and now I'm gonna make my sauce really quickly. Too much oil, so I'm gonna get rid of some. Keep a little bit behind. Move a few things around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's really gonna work. I'm gonna grate in some garlic. You can just finely chop it if you want to, but you know, this is just easy and it's quick. And I like that, especially on a weeknight. So, simple and easy. My rice is cooked. All I did for the rice is cook it for longer than the packaging says for. So, boil some water, add the rice in, I didn't even do the two to one method. I just literally boiled some rice and when it was super tender, I took it out. All right, that looks great. In here, we're gonna add wine. We're gonna add, mm, that already smells like a party. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little splash of water. Squeeze a lemon, obviously. If any pits go in there, Pips, whatever you want to call them. I'm gonna head and do that. Wash my hands. I'm gonna grab these two little fellas. I'm just gonna let that reduce. It's gonna reduce for maybe a minute or two. It will not take long. And then I'll show you the last step. Then it's eating time. And I'm excited. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> that looks great. I'm taking a little bit of butter, about a tablespoon, dredging it in some flour, adding it in. That's going to thicken your sauce and also it kind of like sort of gets rid of some of that harsh, like not harsh, but like really strong brightness from the wine and the lemon. It kind of melts it out a little bit. Perfect. 
and your basilico and your basil. Add that right in. Instantly smells heavenly, and you can see that it is like it almost instantly thickens that sauce and changes the texture, and it is perfection. I'm gonna fork, and then we eat, and that's it. That smells phenomenal. That basil is everything. And I have to tell you, it's basil from my garden that my sweet little girl picked for me this morning. She loves to go out. We have chickens, so she loves to go out and every day like check on the garden and check on the chickens. And she always brings me back some basil and whatever else is ready that day. It's, she's just perfection. But look at this. Mm? How simple and easy. And I'm telling you, this sauce is absolutely boss. It is easy. It's simple, it's absolutely full of flavor, and it reminds me so much of that dish, but like even a little bit better. It's just too good. Mmm. Mmm. That's too good for words. It's sweet, it's bright, it's the most amazing combination. Go to laurainthekitchen.com, get the recipe, you'll love it, I know you will. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.